All right, guys, so here we go again. Someone decides to challenge me and come out his ass talking all this bullshit. You know, I got no problem if you want to come, you know, if you want to correct me, it's not a problem, but you're supposed to come correct. Now, when you don't come correct, that rubs me the wrong way, and it wants me, it makes me want to come after you. It makes me want to go ahead and uh, put you in your place. So, congratulations, buddy. You're being place put as of now. So, let's go ahead and see what this guy got to say. Oh, oh, oh my God. Oh, whoa, bro, bro, bro. Don't ever start a video with your face so close up to the camera like that, dude. Seriously, man. What the fuck is... Look, dude, look at your face, dude. What the fuck is wrong with your face? Dude, you got more crevices in your goddamn face in the Grand fucking Canyon. But you know what? Zeph is going to help you, buddy. Zeph is going to help you. Let me hook you up. I got something for you. I, I went to the store and I picked up something just for you. It's a gift. Yeah, you're going to need this. You might want to put this over your head, you know. No, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. All right, that was wrong. Oh, seriously. Seriously. I did buy something for you in order to um, make it all look better. Yeah, you might want to double up. I'm just saying, man. I just saw the face, you know, all the crevices, and I'm just thinking. It's like a face only a mother can love and possibly my pots. Hold on one second. Actually, if I, if I look here, and, okay, you think you can help me out, please? Because, you know, I got this got this whole thing, right? And, yeah, I kind of cooked eggs in one day. I kind of got stuck it in. You mind if I rub this on your face a little bit? Maybe you can help. Yeah, I can just, you don't mind if I rub this on your face, do you? You know, yeah, kind of help. Yeah, let me just, let me just, just rub this on, on the face. All right, and then you go, uh, all right, there you go. And, they, ooh. Hey, good job, man. Look at that. Look at that nice and clean. I mean, don't get it wrong. I mean, your bad breath kind of burnt the size of the pots. But aside from that, yeah, man, good job. Hmm. All right, let's get down to business, guys. Zephyrnix, <sighs> stop making videos. You are so lost. It's to the point where you really need to stop making videos because you are so fucking lost. <clears throat> your points are weak. You bought a PlayStation 3, which I don't even think you bought it. I feel like you fucking borrowed it or something to try to justify your, your weak statements against the PlayStation 3. Oh, yeah, absolutely, because I don't have a life outside of YouTube. Yeah, I definitely, I do everything in my life just to please the YouTube folks. Yeah, that's what I do. Anyway, let's hop to business. Okay. Like, here's the comment that I left to him, <clears throat> by the way. Uh, it was just kind of, you know, put together because he's so fucking stupid. I was like, shut the fuck up, you're lost, you need to do research. First off, PS3 had a great launch. It was better than the 360. And he said the only good game at launch was Heavenly Sword. You're a fucking idiot. Hold up. So hold up. Hold your horses. Heavenly Sword did not come out at launch. When did this come out? <clears throat> I want to say this came out end of 07, I want to say. I think this came out September or October or November. It came out fall of 07, I think. Okay, um, he was right. Um, Heavenly Sword came out in September 12th. So I was wrong about that. It's true. At the same time, my... Um, point was that it didn't have any good games that came out at launch. Was I wrong? Well, let's see. According to Metacritic, the highest, rate, um, the highest rated PlayStation 3 launch title was Resistance Fall of Man, which scored an 86. Good, right? Well, yeah, here's the thing, though. The highest rated Xbox 360 game at launch was 89 and had two other titles below it. That was above 86. So there was two games on the Xbox 360's launch table that were better than Resistance. Now, with the Wii, the Wii had um, the highest score at launch was 96 and that was Legend of Zelda and that and that game according to Metacritic was highly rated over 86 meaning that it was better than Resistance Fall of Man 2 so yeah I was wrong about um Heavenly Sword doesn't really break doesn't make my um argument any less valid this was the best game at launch Resistance Fall of Man <clears throat> now I said that and Resistance Fall of Man went on to sell 3 million units I don't know if it's changed but from about you know a couple months ago I checked VG charts or whatever, and things sold 3 million units. <clears throat> That's very good. That's hella good. That's crazy numbers. But Zephyrnix, what's the other joke? What's the PlayStation 3's other joke? It has no games? Yeah, that was a good joke in 2006, 2007. Even though I've got plenty of games. I'll show you, but it fucking didn't have games, my ass. Hold up. 
Oh, let's see what we got here. We got this. We had this. What else did we add? I mean, we didn't have tons, but again, the 360 didn't either. Okay, that'll do. That's pretty much all, but you know. 360, or PS3 didn't have games, huh? In 2006, 2007. Getting a little dirty. But anyway, Warhawk came out right when Halo did, and this game is hella popular. There's still probably a good 10, 20,000 people on it right now. Uncharted 1. Went on to sell, I'm gonna say almost 3 million. I think it was 2.5 million units. That's hella money. That's just money. Went on to sell 3 million units. This game was fun as shit. Play it. This held over God of War fans for a while. Like, if you guys haven't played it, you need to play it because it's a great game. Anyway. Okay, so what? You show four or five games and that's it? That's all you have is four or five freaking games? Um, alright, well, you want to show off games? Fine, here you go. Champions Online, Counter-Strike Source, Gary's Mod, Half-Life 2, Half-Life 2 Season 1, Half-Life 2 Season 2, Episode 2 rather, uh, Half-Life 2 Lost Codes, Left 4 Dead, Left 4 Dead 2, Portal, Team Fortress, Torchlight, World of Warcraft, Fable 2, Marvel Ultimate Alliance, Blue Dragon, Perfect Dark 2, X-Men Origins Wolverine, Batman, um, Lego Batman, Pure, Viva Pinata, Grand Theft Auto 4, Universe at War. And mind you, that's not counting the games that I have on um, both PSN and that I don't have on Xbox Live Arcade. So, um, okay, so what? Did you just prove yourself to be a casual gamer? That you only have four or five games? Okay, good for you. Seems like people come up for jokes all the time with the 360. Like you said, Pain to Play Online, <coughs> Red Ring of Death. How about the add on DVD drive? That was a huge joke. $100 wireless adapter, or $100, yeah, wireless adapter, another joke. Battery packs and the controllers, yet another joke. It scratches its own games, yet another joke. You have to, it's just, oh my god, so much shit that's so retarded. Okay, okay, I get it, it looks like fun. How about an HD ready console that has no HD cables? How about a wireless controller that only um, does about 15 to 17 hours of gameplay, and then you gotta plug it back up again, it might as well be a wired controller. How about saying Rumble is last gen? and then putting Rumble into your controllers. How about saying Rumble will not work with the current uh, technology of the 6 access controller? And then putting Rumble in your controller, magically getting to work, of course. Um, adding 6 access to your controller, hyping it up and barely using it in your games. Um, how about the only system to lose a feature every year? Um, saying all future consoles, all future PlayStation consoles will be fully backwards compatible, and then removing PlayStation 2 support. How about an all-powerful system and the multi-plats look like shit on a console. How about an HD-ready system that may or may not be compatible with your current HD television? How about an internet-ready system that may or may not be compatible with your router? How about making fun of the Wiimote and then making your own version four years later? How about saying retarded things like 4D graphics? Can we keep going? This is kind of fun. Next year will probably be something regarding the premium service, which they've denied rumors of that. You fucking idiot. Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot, huh? Okay, so let's talk about this for a second. A rumor, right? Now, if I remember correctly, Sony actually went ahead and um, was talking about at their media investors conference that they were going to start doing a price plan. That's where they originally, originally announced it. Announced it. Not rumored. Uh, announced it to the media, to the media, excuse me, at the media conference. Not only that, but Sony actually took the liberty of emailing a lot of us well, at least the important ones, obviously not you, um, a survey which had about four tiers of different services that they want to use that they want to find out which one did we think were better. I got it. Um, I got it. Javin got it. And you can actually do a search and find it. I'm sure a lot of people actually posted it up. But yeah, it was just a rumor, even though that came directly from Sony, right? But it was just a rumor, huh? Well, let's see if we can find that whole denied thing. Since you're talking about they denied it, let's see if we can find it. Like Go watch. If you want to know why they were hating on the PlayStation 3 at launch, this is what I want you guys to type in right now. Why so much hate for the PlayStation 3? It's from DLB. He was owning idiots like Zephyr Nix when at launch early years for the PlayStation 3. Now, this one's my favorite one. I love this one because this was a perfect ending to the game. Now, he brought up DLB. Um, I hate to break this to you, buddy, but um, DLB was far from owning me. In fact, DLB was quite frankly afraid 
to make a response to me because I was smacking him down left and right. Every video that he came out with, I came out with a counter, put his face into the dirt. Simple and clean. Not only that, not only that, but his running buddy, Snake Double O, actually went on record in one of the podcasts and said straight out that back in those days, the days that you're talking about, when he's making those videos, that he was, that um, DLB was a total fail because DLB was constantly saying wrong shit all the time. So yeah, I'm sure, you know, so I figured this, I, I, I say that because of this. I figured if you don't want to listen to Zappernix, then listen to the boy that was running with DLB. The um, Snake Double O said that. He said that exact, those exact words. Anyway, I'm done. Um, I appreciate you that you got my pots clean, buddy. Um, I'm going to have to charge you for, you know, your bad breath burning up the sides of the pot, but that's okay. You know, you'll get my bill. Anyway, I think I've embarrassed you enough. It was fun. You guys have a good night. Peace and love.